A major break in a murder case and a manhunt underway tonight. And police say this surveillance video is just one clue in the crime gripping Clayton this week. So take a good look. Police say this man, Trinell Johnson, is armed and dangerous. He is facing multiple charges tonight, including second degree murder in Joshua Harris's killing. He was shot to death Monday on Whiteout Boulevard. First Lord for is John Kipper is live in Clayton, spelling out what was revealed in court documents. John. Yeah, Corey, according to those court documents, Sir Jell Johnson was somewhere in my vicinity breaking into cars with others. And at some point, a nearby resident confronted the group, and that was Joshua Harris. Soon after, Johnson pulled out a gun and shot and killed Harris. Now, Johnson is still on the run, and as you might imagine, that's giving an uneasy feeling to those in this Clayton neighborhood. Um, obviously a little fearful. I live right around the corner. On Wydown Street in Clayton, police identifying a suspect brings a sense of relief, but there's still a lingering fear over the shooter still on the run. This is the road that we every day walk with my dog here, but yeah, we are pretty shocked and they're very worried about that the situation here. Clayton police announced Thursday they announced an at-large warrant after Monday's shooting, killing Joshua Harris. The suspect, 18-year-old Trinell Johnson. According to court documents, police used surveillance video, including this footage from a nearby gym, to identify Johnson as a suspect. They say around 5.30 Monday morning, Harris saw Johnson attempting to break into his wife's vehicle parked out on Wydown. Harris then got his gun and tried confronting Johnson. The shots rang out from Johnson's car, striking Harris in the chest, killing him. Johnson's charged with two felonies, including second-degree murder. Police say Johnson broke his bond from a March case in St. Louis County. Court documents reveal he's accused of stealing a car and fleeing police before he ultimately struck a Metro bus. But the St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office say they objected to Johnson getting bond in the spring. But St. Louis County Judge Jeffrey Medler gave him a $30,000 bond. And the Bail Project, a nonprofit providing free bail to those in need, paid off the bond. While Johnson is still on the run, residents are keeping a watchful eye. So we thought this neighborhood is pretty safe, but yeah, we're pretty shocked that this happened. Now, as we mentioned, the victim, Joshua Harris, did have a gun on him, but Clayton police are not saying whether he fired any shots. Reporting live in Clayton, John Kipper, First Alert 4.